All right, Thursday, December 3rd. I'm Tom Novak. This is your Bring Me the News and Novak weather update brought to you by Grand Casino of Mille Lacs and Hinkley. Thank you, Grand Casino, for sponsoring this update. You can see on the visible satellite loop, again, we continue with that north to northwesterly flow in our atmosphere, basically all layers of our atmosphere right now. Usually this time of the year, when you're talking about this type of a flow in early December, you're talking about bitter cold Arctic air, but not this season, at least not yet. So we are basking in mild to warm temperatures here across the upper Midwest, along with plenty of sunshine. Yeah, a few clouds out there, but in general, plenty of sunshine. And if you like today, you're going to like the next five to seven days. Here are temperatures across the region, pretty uniform, basically mostly 30s and lower 40s across the upper Midwest, including Minnesota. And I expect these temperatures to be very similar tomorrow with no precipitation. And we need precipitation across much of the country. In fact, much of the country west of the Mississippi is pretty dry. And I'm showing you that right now. This is the latest amount of precipitation now that has fallen since September 1st. So basically through the fall season. And I want you to take a look at uh, the lack thereof, at least of precipitation across the Dakotas and western and northern Minnesota, northwestern Wisconsin, all the way southwest to the desert southwest. It's been dry. Again, for most of the country west of the Mississippi River, it has been dry with uh, at least the percentage amount of uh, rain and snowfall, for that matter, less than 50% of the average across much of the country uh, west of the Twin Cities metro and the Minnesota-Wisconsin border. So yeah, we need rain up here. In fact, when we zoom in a little bit closer here into Minnesota and take a look at the drought situation now across the state, look at this. Northern Minnesota needs some moisture along with western and southwestern Minnesota. Really, when it comes down to it, all of the state could use some moisture now as we've been pretty dry over the last several months, especially over the last several weeks. And you can see some areas of Minnesota are in that uh, moderate to severe drought, especially in the western portions of the state. So we could use some moisture. And the good news is, is that I think we're going to get it as we get as we head towards late next week and the weekend next weekend. So we need to wait another seven days. And you know, looking at the whole country as as a whole, uh, take a look at the drought conditions over the Rocky Mountains, southern and central Rocky Mountains into the desert southwest. We're talking about conditions, and take a look at this. Exceptional and extreme drought conditions as you head into about the western half of the country. So precipitation is needed, and like I said, I think we're going to get it, especially here in the upper Midwest. Here's the jet stream structure, and I'm going to show you why I think uh, next weekend looks very interesting. All right, here's the flow, by the way as we go through this weekend and then into next week, uh, you can see uh, by weekend, by the weekend now and into early next week, our flow is going to continue to be out of the west-northwest towards the south and southeast. And the jet stream, at least the river of air at 30,000 feet and the jet streak, the highest winds are going to be north of Minnesota. So we're still going to have a relatively warm bubble of air over much of the northern and northwestern half of the country as we go through this weekend and then next week. But watch what happens as we head into Friday and Saturday now of next weekend. Okay, this is a pattern change and a significant one uh, from a weather standpoint. We, this is what we call a, a trough, and it's a deep trough that develops over the Rocky Mountains and central portion of the United States. Now, if this weather pattern or change in the weather pattern holds, and this does indeed occur as we head into Friday and Saturday of next week, we're going to have a massive, a large storm system that's going to develop on the nose or the left front quad of this jet street that comes out of Texas and Oklahoma and heads northeast towards the Great Lakes. Again, this is a perfect or classic winter storm scenario for the upper Midwest. So we'll have to see how all of this comes together as we head towards later next week and weekend. It's a long ways away. I know it is, but a lot of people are hoping for snow. And uh, it's nice to at least be able to talk 
about snow here in the extended forecast. This is for Saturday evening now. This is not this coming Saturday, but yeah, about 10 days away here. So I know we're looking way into the future, but what I just really wanted to show you is that the low level temperatures as we head into next weekend now appear to be more than cold enough to support snow. Okay, we haven't had that type of scenario for several days here, but it looks like as we head into uh, next weekend, we're going to be plenty cold enough for snow. And in fact, the European Computer Model Guidance for surface temperatures next week and next weekend, now this is for Saturday and, and now Sunday morning, look at this, below zero temperatures in the Dakotas. So that is Arctic air and that's what we've needed or have or certainly need to produce snow here in the upper Midwest. And we haven't had it for a couple of weeks, but it looks like we're going to get some of it as we head into the seven and 10 day period. Here's your extended forecast though. For the next seven days, no snow, in fact, no precipitation expected, and plenty of sunshine with temperatures a good five to 15 degrees above normal, not only for the lows, but for the highs over the next seven days. All right, that's your forecast from Bring Me the News and Novak Weather. Have a great evening. Take care, everyone.